Hello, everybody, and a warm welcome to the next one hour session of general knowledge. Just give you guys a couple of minutes to join in before we start off. Any questions, you can certainly leave a comment and I will come back to you on it. Just in case I do not have an answer for your questions, I will certainly come back to you at a later point. Okay? If you have joined, do comment so that I'm aware that you have joined in. Before we start off this session, we have a small video to be uh, watching, post which we will be continuing with the presentation on general knowledge and the importance of it to face any competitive exams. Okay, let's get started. You have a small video that you need to look into now. Vidyaya Amritam Ashtate. Knowledge is nectar, is the motto that defines the thirst for knowledge at BNM Institute of Technology, one of the pioneer institutes in technology and management, established with a mission to provide engineering and management education that meets the needs of human resources with leadership qualities, team spirit, and concern for environment. BNMIT stands today as the cornerstone for engineering and management education with approval to AICTE New Delhi, affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University, Belga, and NAC A grade accreditation. Thank you for watching. Just give me a minute and I will be sharing the presentation in no time. If you if you're already here, just say good afternoon or anything like that. Just leave a comment so I know that you guys are in. You all can see my screens? If so, do let me know. Now can you see? You should be able to see my screen now. Can you see the screens now, guys? All right. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the same crowd. It's good to be seeing the same names attending the training uh, now as well. All right. So we will be uh, diving a little deep into general knowledge. There will be a couple of exercises. There will be a couple of sources that I will be sharing with you as to where you can actually go ahead and, you know, improvise on your general knowledge as well. So this is something, again, we have been doing so since our school days, right? 
even now if you're watching t television and if you're getting updated with what's happening in and around the world that is your general knowledge all right the information that you actually absorb in terms of everything that is happening around you that becomes your general knowledge all right so a warm welcome again uh, seven cents presents to you uh, a session on general knowledge so we will be together for the next one hour up till 4 30. any questions leave it on the comment and i will come back to you guys all right so a quick definition on what general knowledge is it is the information that has been accumulated over time through various mediums right so the information that gets passed on from one source to another source it could be your newspapers it could be television it could be radio or it could be any other platform through which you're getting umpteen number of information which you absorb or which is being stored for further um, assistance as well okay an individual can be good in one domain or many as well an awareness on multiple domains is always required okay what are we going to cover today uh, we will have questions around a lot of topics as a part of the exercises that I'm going to take you through so physical geography is something that you will have to bear in mind and something that you will have to look into and practice more understand the geography bit of where each parts of the world exist okay indian and world geography very important to know about your own country as well as the world indian and world history understanding the culture understanding people understanding the kind of values that they live by be it your own country or be it the world it is important to actually understand while i totally understand uh, you know um agree with you that you may not be able to cover the entire history of the world but getting glimpses of each culture is something that is still possible and we will we will be able to do that and that is what is expected out of you nobody is asking you to go dive deep into the world history and do a thesis or anything like that no that's not required you just need to have an overview of what the world history looks like international organizations is very much very much required because that is what is going to let you uh, know which company is doing what in terms of their business in terms of their growth their profit their loss where all they have their footprints right so it's very important to know about inter international organizations as well everyday science again you have this um, everyday science page that does come up in times of India at least that is something that I have noticed where you have one particular page dedicated to science and technology talking about all new uh, innovations or innovations that are under progress or something that has been created but did not click well so it's good to understand how people are coming up with various technology various innovations which could actually help the society help the humankind right probably that could, could give you an idea as to how you can actually better it yeah just knowing everyday science is important as well awards and honors um probably we may not be able to be on top of the uh, uh p list priority list when it comes to awards and honors but i think the most remarkable honors are something that we need to be aware of and that's what is required when it comes to general knowledge as well so who has been awarded with what sort of an honor okay that is what covers under awards and honors indian economy very important something that we have uh, spoken a lot about in the last six months especially i'm sure you guys have heard about it understood it uh, to a certain extent if you haven't it's absolutely fine you can still go ahead google about all your doubts and or speak to somebody and get more information about it and then politics very very important constitution current affairs and any other miscellaneous general knowledge so this is what will be covered under your general knowledge clear everybody can hear me 
audible clear okay without any further ado we will jump into some of the general knowledge questions okay try and answer uh, there is a no right or wrong we're not going to hold you back for giving a wrong answer it is just to check your knowledge all right so give me the thickness of mantle layer these are your options thickness of mantle layer is about 2900 km 3100 km 3300 km 3500 km All right, so go for it. Try and give me your answers here. It is about 2,900 kilometer. Okay, moving on. The proportion of hydrogen to helium in the sun is 3 is to 2, 3 is to 1, 1 is to 1, 3 is to 4. The proportion of hydrogen to helium in the sun is <clears throat> you may feel some of the questions being offbeat, but it's absolutely fine. I would want you to give it a try because that's where we actually enhance our knowledge in terms of all these things. All right. So some of you have been uh, giving me the answers. The option is B. It is three is to one. Your next one. Ozone is present in which of the following layers? Ozone is present in which of the following layers? Mesosphere, stratosphere, again, mesosphere is given, and thermosphere. That is just to confuse you, okay? Ozone is present in which of the following layers? Right, let's check the solution. Stratosphere is the right answer. Very well done. Okay. Autumnal equinox occurs on which date? September 22nd, September 23rd, October 22nd, October 23rd. For those who may not be aware, two moments in a year when the sun is exactly above the equator and the day and night are e of equal length. Okay. Also, either of the two points in the sky where the ecli ecliptic uh, and the celestial equator intersect. That is called as autumn equinox. So, yes, let's look at the solution. It is September 23rd. 
the intersection happens. All right. Cool. The next one, something to do with our own country now. The Python hydroelectric project, which is at Jaikwadi, completed with the help of Japan, is on the river Ganga, Kaveri, Narmada, Kodavari. Python hydroelectric project, completed with the help of Japan, is on the river. Answer is D. Godavari. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And your next question. The refineries Mathura, Digboy and Panipet are set up by Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, Crude Distillation Unit of Madras Refineries. The refineries Mathura, Digboy, and Panipat are set up by. Indian Oil Corporation Limited, Hindustan Petroleum uh, Petroleum Corporation Limited, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, Crude Distillation Unit of Madras Refineries Limited. Try giving the answers. I will share with you as to where the sources are and where you can actually practice this on a daily basis if need be. Okay. Let's look at the solution now. It is set up by Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Okay. The highest place on earth. What is the highest place on the earth? No options. Just waiting for your answer. Yep, thank you. Indeed, it is Everest. All right, the next one. International Space Line passes through International Space Line passes through You can try. If not, the solution is in front of your screens now. 180 Greenwich. Okay. International space line passes through 180 Greenwich.
do. To do some sphere. Himalayan mountain, equator. Okay. Varied answers. I'm not quite sure as to if you have answered those for the previous questions. But your latest question is why does the sky appear blue? You may know the answer, you may not know the answer, it's absolutely fine, right? Thank you. They appear blue because of the scattering of light by dust particles or air molecules in the atmosphere. The smaller the wavelength, the wider the scattering. As the blue color has the smallest wavelength, hence, the sky appears blue. Clear? The next question in front of your screen now. Which of the following factors are responsible for the rapid growth of sugar production in South India as compared to North India? Higher per acre field of sugarcane, higher sucrose content of sugarcane, lower labor cost, longer crushing period. So which of the following factors are responsible for the rapid growth of sugar production in South India compared to North India? Is it one and two? Is it one, two and three? Is it one, three and four? Or one, two and four? Okay, I see some of the answers for the previous question. Why is the sky blue? Not because of the reflection of water, dear. Um, I have given the, answer, the solution to that particular question. Okay, I hope you go through that. It's Commonly, we feel that it's because of the reflection of water, but it's not that. Right, so we, some of you have given me the options as C for this particular question of which of the following factors are responsible for the rapid growth of sugar production in South India as compared to North India. Let's look at the answer and it is one, two and four. Higher per acre field of sugar, sugar cane, higher sucrose content of sugar cane and longer crushing period. Okay. All right. Now coming to something that has happened recently. Say in September. Who has recently become the new deputy governor of RBI? Rajiv Nandan, M. Rajeshwar Rao, Mr. K. Sarves Nagar, Mr. D. Ramesh Singh. Try this. Who has recently become the new deputy governor of RBI? S. Rajiv Nandan, M. Rajeshwar Rao, K. Sarves Nagar, D. Ramesh Singh. All right. Some of you are already sharing it. Try. This is some of the most recent happening. 
I know you may be Googling as well. It's absolutely fine, but you will not get this opportunity when you're facing the competitive exam, right? Make the most of uh, Google when you can. Let's see. It's Mr. M. Rajeshwar Rao. Okay. That is your right answer with respect to who has recently become the new deputy governor of RBI. Clear, everybody? So far, so good. You're able to understand? Everybody is able to understand? Yes, no. Super. Recently, which two scientists have received the Nobel Prize in the year 2020 in the field of chemistry? Okay. Is that Emmanuel Chapier and Mark Fallot? Emmanuel Shapier and Jennifer A. Dodner, Mark Fallot and Jasmine Charles, Mark Fallot and Emmanuel Shapier. Recently, which two scientists have received the Nobel Prize in the year 2020 in the field of chemistry? Go on, try this. Right? Did you give it a shot now? Recently, which two scientists, scientists have received the Nobel Prize in the year 2020 in the field of chemistry? Emmanuel Shapier and Mark Fellot. Emmanuel Shapier and Jennifer A. Dodner. Mark Fellot and Jasmine Charles. Mark Fellot and Emmanuel Shapier. Go on, try this one before I show you the solutions. Now let's look at the solution. It is B, Emmanuel Shapier and Jennifer A. Dodner. That would be the answer for this particular question in terms of who got the Nobel Prize in year 2020 for the field of chemistry. The next one. Recently, who has been appointed as the new chairman of State Bank of India? Recently, who has been appointed as the new chairman of State Bank of India? Is that Mr. Arvind Ghosh, Mr. Kishore Sinha, Mr. Bajrang Shah, or Mr. Dinesh Khara? Go on, try it.
Everybody give it a try. For any question, whenever you try to search for the answer, you do get an answer. Trust me, that information gets retained back in your memory. So it's it's so important that we do such searches to you know empower ourselves or enhance our skills. Okay, some answers coming in for Mr. Arvind Ghosh. Let us see the solution. It is Mr. Dinesh Khara. Okay. Going on. At which place has the Indian Army built a memorial for the soldiers who received Veer Gati during the Galvan skirmish? Okay. At which place has the Indian Army built a memorial for the soldiers who received Veer Gati during the Galvan skirmish? Ladakh, Chamoli, Shimla, Kedarnath. At which place has the Indian Army built a memorial for the soldiers who received Virgati during the Galvan skirmish? Ladakh, Shamuli, Shimla, Kedarnath. Okay. I've got an answer, Shamoli. Anybody else who's trying it? Let's look at the solution. It is built in Ladakh. Okay. Indian Army has built a memorial for the soldiers who received Veer Gati during the Galwan skirmish. And this is built in Ladakh. Your next question. The global seminar India PV Age 2020 is organized by which union ministry? The global seminar India PD Age 2020 is organized by which union ministry? Ministry of Renewable Energy, Ministry of New Energy, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Ministry of Energy. The Global Seminar India PB Age 2020 is organized by which union ministry? Ministry of Renewable Energy, Ministry of New Energy, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Ministry of Energy. Are the questions going above your head? I hope not. But you should be expecting such kind of questions when it comes to your competitive exams. All right, so we've got Ministry of Renewable energy as one of the answers. I'm waiting for some more comments before I actually reveal the solution. Or rather the answer. A or D. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else who wants to try? Give it a try. It's absolutely fine. I told you nobody's going to hold you for a wrong answer. Okay. If it's a right, it's a pat on your back. If it's a wrong, then it's a learning phase for you. It's 
to Bob. Thank you very much. Now let's look at the answer. It is C, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Right? So someone's actually given a C. I don't know if it is out of guess or you, you actually knew it, but pat on your back for that. Yeah? Well done. Okay, some tips to be shared. What needs to be done in order to keep yourself updated with all the happenings around the world under different genres as well. A, a read the newspaper regularly. If you are a person who is into reading newspapers, very well done. Please continue to do so. Never leave the habit of newspaper because you're not just knowing the information that is happening around you. You're also improvising your vocabulary when you're whenever you're reading a newspaper or a book this is enhancing your language skills as well irrespective of the language that you actually read the newspaper in <clears throat> you start building your verbal intelligence so that is very important hence read newspapers in order to understand what's happening around the world Okay, if you don't have read you, uh, if you don't have newspapers coming in, turn on the radios, turn on your mobiles. Now you have e-newspapers. You need to actually utilize technology to the max to benefit yourself. Okay, so screen times need to be monitored by yourselves. So yes, you can actually turn into technology to get the e-newspapers as well. Wiki surfing again through. Um, you know, getting information via Google, by surfing on the net. We, you have Wikipedia, which gives you a lot of information, so you keep surfing it. However, I do understand some of the information or some of the content that goes into uh, Wikipedia or Google may not be 100% facts. So you will have to cross-check it under various uh, sources to be able to draw your conclusions. All right? So you have some more platforms like Quora, you have Reddit. These are platforms where you can actually get information. Okay. And you do have uh, um, websites with, which actually generate quizzes on general knowledge. So it's good to attend these quizzes to understand where you stand, um, you know, when it comes to competitive exams. Watching news. Yeah, probably can actually help in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever you think is the best time for you to actually, you know, break free from whatever you're doing and watching news to gather information about what's happening around the world. Okay. We on one is one of the channels that I would actually advise you to watch because I really like the information that gets shared there. I really like the uh, way they actually communicate. It kind of resembles BBC, all right? BB Next to BBC is We On One, so you, you could probably watch that. Reading books, absolutely. Um, you have, um, you know, books not only about fiction, about uh, romance, about actions, but you have historic books, you have books on facts, you have books on science, technology, geography, you name it and you have the books. And if you are a person who is interested in enhancing your intelligence and understanding a couple of things, trust me, by reading books, you would actually do that. Okay, get into the habit of reading anything that you actually like. Because sometimes even in fiction uh, books, you are introduced to a different culture where they're explaining to you as to what is happening in that particular part of the world as well. So in the same way, if you're just picking up one a book to understand the cult culture of a country or something like that, you're still diving deep into the culture and coming out. So books can always give you knowledge in one or the other ways. So it's important to read books as well. Doesn't mean that you all go dive into reading books right from today, but if you want to make that a habit, go ahead and pick that up as the habit because that's one of the best ones. Listening to news on radio, something that we did discuss as the first pointer itself, in case you are not receiving newspapers, and I, I don't know because of the pandemic, some of the places are still not receiving newspapers. It is best to turn on your radios or 
even your e-newspapers, okay? E-learning platforms, there are umpteen number of e-learning platforms where you can actually get more information. Okay. Right. Knowledge on people. I've just listed out some of the, uh, you know, um, important people of 2020 uh, from a technology perspective and also in terms of, you know, who are well known. So Bill Gates, Michael Dell, Narayan Murthy, Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella, Elon Okar, Jeff Bezos, Lynn Conway, Elon Musk. My suggestion for you guys is to, you know, understand about these people and uh, probably, you know, have a read through of what these guys have done. Why are they actually, you know, uh, important personalities during your era? So this is why knowledge on people is important. These are just not the listed people that you have to go through. There are umpteen number of people that you can actually go through. Along with Narayan Murthy, you have Sudha Murthy, who you who can actually talk about and read about and understand as well. So similarly, there are a lot of people who you think could fit into this category and read about them to know their achievements. Okay. Some of the online educational supports that I would want to uh, share with you guys. Okay, these are the URLs that you can log into to get more information. Kana Academy, Academic Arts, Coursera, EDX, Open to Study, Academic Journals, Code Academy, YouTube.com. Okay. Similarly, you will have Seven Cents as well. All right, where if you do subscribe to the channel, you will start getting a lot of information through us as well. Book sites again, Bookpoon, eBookie, Sharebook Free, Free Books, Uboku, many books. So you have umpteen number of book sites where you can actually go ahead, download it, read it, and understand. Online educational support, these are the URLs for them OCW, consortium.org. You have Tufts University, you have Utah State University, University of Michigan. All right. You could actually browse through them and see what information they hold that can actually help you. If you do have any uh, questions, you know, which you may not feel very comfortable asking somebody else, your colleagues, your parents, your siblings, your teachers or your peers, just go on to these sites and try and get an answer to them. Eha, what is, how stuff work, Webopedia, flat tracker, answers.com. Okay. These are some of the quick wins for you guys. And some of the search sites where you can also get a lot of information. Where Google is also one of it. You have Web Crawler, you have AOL, you have Hotbot, you have Excite, you have Alta Vista. So whichever you're comfortable with, you can go about, get into the site and see what information you can obtain. Probably you could do one website a day just to see what information the website already holds. Searching for people, right? The people that I had just listed out for you guys. Similarly, you will have many people that you probably would want to. You want to read about them, understand about their achievements, your roles and responsibilities. No matter what, you can just go to any of these sites to see if you can find them. Like anyhow, InfoSpace, Switchboard, WhitePages.com, who, where. All right. So you can actually look for people to um, know about them. Searching for the latest news, some of the news channels listed out for you, like ABC News, CBS, CBS News, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, New York Times, USA Today. All right. So some of these URLs can actually provide you the happenings around the world at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Sports, if, you, if you're interested and would like to know uh, more about sports, be it cricket, football, golf, any sports that you're interested in, some of these channels could actually help you out. Now, this is on your fingertips, on your phones, right? So you can just scroll through them. CBS Sportsline, CNN, ESPN, Fox Sports, NBC Sports, and the sports, sporting news as well. All right, everybody with me? Everybody able to understand 
We just got 15 more minutes before we can actually end the session. But it's important that you guys are with me and going through this. Clear? Okay. So that actually brings us to the end of the session itself. What I'm going to do is probably ask you some more questions because we still have 15 more minutes. Do you guys have any questions for me? Let me know if you have any questions. I can take it up for you. Anybody with any questions? I still don't see any messages, hence I'm asking you. Will they provide worksheet? What sort of a worksheet that you're actually asking for? It again depends because it, uh, they will also be in, in an MCQ format itself. So you have the question and you have certain options with which you will actually have to select the right answer. If I'm not wrong, it's going to be online. I mean, if it's still conducted at the college levels itself, then I think you would still get worksheets to be able to proceed with the calculations, dear. Okay, that's that's my understanding. But if it's online, I don't know how they would actually proceed with it. How does the academic syllabus for IMs differ from a tier two to three B schools? Ah, uh, good question, but I would love to come back to you with that because I do not have an answer at this minute. But I'm going to certainly get back to you on that. Anybody else has any other questions? With respect to whatever you have asked me, tier two to three, I don't know the difference between one and two of the tier, but IMs differ from tier one and two. I'm not very sure, so I will certainly come back to you on that, okay? It's, it's just basically the infrastructure and the academic, uh, you know, the syllabus, the way they actually uh, get trained on it. So that's the difference between one and two. 
when it comes to IMs, I will have to get back to you. Yeah. So we're ready to take some more questions now. It's going to be verbal because I don't have anything on PPT to <clears throat> share it with you guys. See if you can actually answer them. Um, provided I don't have any questions over here. Okay, inputs on NBA, how's it going to be before and after? Could you be a little bit a little bit more clear of what exactly you are trying to ask me? Is it for the competitive exam or is it Cardio wise, it again depends um, what you're actually mastering in MBA, right? So you don't have to worry too much in terms of how you're preparing. You will have to still give a, uh, give in all your, uh, you know, competitive exams. There is a world of opportunity out there. Okay, it's all about how you can actually um, sell yourself best during the interviews. So, not to worry much. Trust me, you guys are on the right track in giving all the required exams at this minute. But post pandemic. What the situation is, it's still there's still a lot of uncertainty to to most of us. Okay. But as and when there's any requirement, I'm sure we would actually, you know, um, that would be uh, advised to all of you. But situation doesn't look that bad because hiring is in a way opened up in some of the organizations. Right? It's just about the timing. You just, you guys just concentrate on uh, whatever you have to complete in terms of your, uh, you know, entire curriculum. Give your best shots and get the best scores to be the outstanding person. I'm proficiency in accountants and BCom now. Can I choose finance and MBA? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I, I don't do career counseling. I wish I could actually help you on that, but probably I could get one of uh, my uh, seniors to come back to you guys on that. You, you guys seem to be having a lot of career count, uh, you know, uh, requests. So, yeah, we could actually try and see if anybody in Seven Sins can actually answer you on that. Okay, because over here, I do not want to give you an answer which you just take away and probably that does not help you as well. So that should not be the way, way forward for you guys. So three questions that I have, uh, I'm walking away with for today. Which I know is not, may not be the right forum for me to answer.
But if at all you're shifting from one stream to another shift uh, and stream, please understand what is the reason that you're actually making this move for, because that needs to be more clear for you guys. Mock test today, uh, nothing that I'm actually aware about. If there is, I think you guys would have actually been uh, notified about it by now. Would that be manageable? I'm sure it will be manageable as long as you're very passionate about it, love. So if you re if you really want to actually move into this the stream of finance, then you need to be a lot passionate. It shouldn't be like you just jump into it and then you regret your life. So carefully think through as to what you actually want to pick up as your course because that's what you're going to set your career mark as well. Oh, you're not the first one to do that. So a shift from BE Mech to MBA, trust me, there's, there's there's loads of people who have actually done that. Probably it's a late realization, and that could be one of your best uh, realizations as well. So you've just found your passion towards what you really want, and you're driving through it. So it's fine. Absolutely fine. I wish you all the very best. <laughs> seriously i mean just having a positive perspective is so important so yep cool any further questions oh you're most welcome thank you for your questions and i'm uh, i will certainly come back because most of it is related to career counseling and i don't want to be giving you wrong answers over here especially when we've gone live so we'll get someone to come back to you guys and probably give you some information around the same okay any further questions for today's session if you all liked this session please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you actually get more updates from 7 cents as well. Right? Wow. Too many shifters here. No worries, guys. Probably you've taken the best decision in your life so just concentrate and work towards it okay you you may have found what you're passionate about so keep that going you're most welcome we just got two more minutes before I actually end the broadcast as well Okay, for general knowledge, you don't have to break your brains a lot. Okay, most of the information that is being asked is either that has happened in the past and something that is happening in the present, right? So you just have to keep your eyes wide open for all the things that are happening in terms of politics, in terms of science and technology, art and craft, history, whatsoever. Okay. Anything for that matter, be it your aptitude test, verbal ability, general knowledge, all the things that we are mostly aware of. It's just that, you know, in the due course of our journey in life, we just tend to unlearn most of the things. And this is where we, uh, as a company, step in to refresh your memory and help you actually, you know, crack those uh, competitive exams. So should you have any further questions, you could, you could still come back to us. All right. You know, if you have been provided with our email address, please do drop in us an email or you could come back to us through your coordinator and uh, we will let you know any information that you guys require. Cool. Okay, guys, um, I would suggest you do not um, share in your numbers on these chats. 
प्लीज okay keep that a little too professional if you don't mind super guys so that brings to an end of the session thank you very much for uh, being so interactive thank you for staying in for an hour or so all right and i'll come back to you guys with the answers that you the, the for the questions that you have posted you guys have a blessed evening ahead okay thank you any time thank you very much you guys have a safe evening stay home stay safe take care guys bye bye